What up, YouTube? This is Ron again, and I'm going to talk to you about being black in nursing school and in nursing. So, nursing school is challenging, as you may know, and you learn about a lot of stuff from med search, peds, OB, um, and just general nursing to see what you want to get your feet wet into. So, but topic that I'm covering is the awkwardness when you're learning about stuff that you're a risk factor for in nurse, nursing school. So some of the few, like if you're not in nursing school right now or you're in nursing school right now, you know my struggle. Like when you learning about certain topics and you just like, they're just like, yes, actually black has the highest risk factor for this. And you just like, dang. And I'm like, you can't believe it. And I'm like, dang, they just, why am I a risk factor for this? I don't understand. So here's some of the few things. You have hypertension, diabetes mellitus, um, sorry, coronary artery disease, certain types of cancers, and asthma, and also preterm births. So it's really like you learn about it and you're, especially being African-American or black, whichever term that you like to use, you learn about it and you just like, wow, like what the heck? And then like you covering it, I'm like, and you start applying it to family members. That's how I was able to remember most of the material. Cause I was just like, grandma has hypertension. Mom has hypercholesteremia. Um, and then it's just like, when it comes to certain things like combination, like being morbid, morbid, I'm sorry, morbid obese. And I'm like, mom, ooh, my family, and it's just bad. And I was just like, and then while I'm telling them stuff, I was just like, I actually need to do this. Honestly, nursing school made me want to make some lifestyle changes because going into nursing school, I was, I was still recovering from my accident, and... I was so stressed out about nursing school. Like, my blood pressure was pretty high. And I was just like, all right. And, you know, stress and being under pressure can do that to your blood pressure with the pain. So I was just like, all right, I need to do something to keep myself under check. So I started going to the gym. And honestly, I wanted to eat healthier because especially finding out what all black people are at risk for and I was just like, I need to make some lifestyle changes because I do not want this. I want to stay my waistline. I want to look confident and good when I look in the mirror. And it's just not what I wanted. So I started going to the gym. Actually, this past summer, I lost 10 pounds. Like, I've been going to the gym like three, four times a week um, in the summer. So I was just like, because in nursing school, it's only like once on a good day just because of everything that I had to do. But I'm actually proud of myself. I feel good, look good. And, you know, all the good things that come with exercising, sleeping better, having energy. Um, actually, I saw it one time that I got my blood pressure taken. It was 120 over 80, which I was very proud of. I was just like, I'm doing something right. And my heart rate has went down too. So it the benefits of exercise especially in nursing school when you have all these risk factors is beneficial um what else lack of nursing school what else can i say it's just so awkward when it's sometimes oh and then when you have those inklets questions one when, when i was taking kaplan it was just like out of all these cultural experiences which one is the most concerning and when you see most concerning, you want to think prioritizing. So, one of them was like something about um, Native American, African American, Mexican, and it was something else. And the most concerning was that African American woman that washes her, that shampoos her hair every two days. That was the answer. Like, some of y'all, please comment on this, because that was such a stupid question. And I'm like, that's how I know it's not anybody culturally different on the panel. Because I was just like, shampoos her hair. I'm like, what's the problem with that? I mean, every if you don't know, African Americans don't have to wash their hair that much. So, not actually not have to, but if we do it, it dries out our hair. So, it's just like, 
African Americans, our hair texture need to hold on to the oil. So you don't want to wash the oil, wash your hair too much because it's going to get rid of the oil that sustains your hair or our hair. So that was the answer. And I was just like, that's such a stupid question because, and then the rationale was African Americans need to uh, deep condition their hair or some crap like that. And I was just like, that's so stupid. Like you can't. I feel like NCLEX do not need to write or instructors do not need to write cultural questions if they don't know or review courses. They don't need to write cultural questions if you don't know about the culture. Like, that's so stupid. Like, I'm not about to act like I know, write a question and act like I know uh, about the Arabic culture and I really don't. Like, and I, I made a post once I was just like, and this is how it went. It was just like a nurse visits the home of an African-American family. And which of the following signs from a family member that the client says is the most concerning? Sorry, it's butchered a little bit. I'm just doing it based off the top of my head. A, Ricky and Donnie is coming. B, Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nim is coming. C, uh... Tisha and Brittany is coming. D, Barack and Michelle is coming. Now, I know you know what the answer to that is. Ding, ding, ding. You're right. Pookie, Ray Ray, and them is coming. All right? So, I was just like, that's practically how in-class questions be when it's like cultural. I'm like, really? 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 But what else? Being black in a nursing school. Um... Yeah, I was just like, honestly, nursing school, you, or, or, oh yeah, yeah. And then when you graduate from nursing school, this is to all my black nurses out there, and you know how certain black people, maybe some in your family, do not like going to the healthcare system, and they're going to depend on you for a lot of questions. It might not be just black, I'm just saying from my experience, but they... Like, I got a weird text from my auntie, like, I got stung by a bee, what do I do? Auntie, you, you, you dang near 50. I know you never been stung by a bee. I know somebody been stung by a bee before. I'm like, all right, let me go through these questions. Are you allergic? No. Are you feeling warm, flushed, like impending doom? No. You just have swelling? Yes. Until you're fine. Just put some ice on it. Maybe get a little ointment or something for it to be seen. You're fine. Or like when they're afraid to do something. And I don't, I don't know about other people's cultures like that. But regarding like healthcare and who's willing to take over. But I know my cousin, her um, grandfather's dying from cancer. And her, she asked me about a few questions about it. But she said her family members, when it comes to certain things, I'm a little bit ashy. Oh, another part of black culture. My bad. But, <laughs> but, um, she was asking me what to do. And she said, like, if I can help. But I was just like, I have minimal experience. And your father has, like, multiple tumors. That just makes me uncomfortable. So I'm just... You need someone experience, but she was just like when it comes to certain things like feeding the fam uh, or giving medications or giving medications to their self, they don't like doing it. And I was just like, you know what? When I was laid up from my accident and my mom wasn't, uh, she, I was too scared. And th I'm honestly, yep, I was one of them. I was too scared to give myself heparin shots in my stomach. My mom had to do it, and she didn't like doing stuff like that either. And I'm like, honestly, mothers are natural born nurses. Like, just, just accept it. But, yeah, I was too scared to do it myself. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be a weird sensation if I did it myself. And initially, when I was went into nursing school, I thought when you give, like, someone a shot, you would feel it too. And I know that's stupid, but that's what I thought. I, didn't, I wasn't sure. I was just like, oh, <laughs> Like, I was going to be an empath or something. Just be like, feel their pain. But, yeah. 
and sorry my allergies are acting up um what else can I tell you guys it's pretty much it like oh guys y'all gonna enjoy this story so it's a movie about the Tuskegee experiment if you don't know about that it's mostly how these not scientists researchers pretty much infected a whole the whole black male population with syphilis in order to find a cure which is penicillin and i can't remember the movie name it has alfre woodard and someone else i can't remember i can't remember the main people but mostly this is the reason why we have consent in America because of the Tuskegee experiment and they they pretty much did not offer them penicillin when they found the cure and allowed them to die with the full symptoms in pain and that was completely wrong and it's a shame that this happened in American history like everything else but so we was watching this movie guys your, some nursing programs can be so oblivious to certain things. And I was just like, me and five other students that was black was texting through the whole movie. Like, they really going to show this movie, the T Tuskegee Experiment, which the black nurse put the syphilis in people and knowingly did it and did not tell them anything, which is violating all the ethical principles. The black nurse violating the ethical principles. They showed this during Black History Month, y'all. We was just like, are they really playing this movie during Black History Month? So you telling me the history of black nurses is bad from jump? Like, I was like, are they really that oblivious to certain things like that? I'm like, you supposed to show stuff that's show blacks or African Americans, whatever term you want to use, in a positive light. And I was just like, you show the Tuskegee Experiment movie during Black History Month, and we're in a nursing program. That woman was a black nurse that violated all the ethical principles possible. And I was just like, Ooh, y'all, ooh, y'all need to go through some cultural sensitivity training. We was, we was making so many jokes during that. We was just like, these people was playing the Tuskegee experiment. And I, I just, I couldn't. I was, I was on something else. I was like, wow. Like, we was texting through the, during the whole movie how crappy that they are showing this during Black History Month. Uh, some people may not understand, but I was just like, wow, like, all right. But yeah, that's some things I want to talk about, about being black in nursing school and nursing. And comment, like, subscribe. Um, I don't know if y'all haven't noticed, that's kind of like doing a comedy thing with nursing just based off some of my stories that's just the type of person i am i crack jokes a lot may not understand it all the times but i crack jokes a lot um yeah comment like subscribe follow me on ig it is underscore r-o-n-h-a-r-r-i-s and i'm gonna have it below and uh let me know if i can do anything to help you all out if you're in pre-nursing or Thinking about it in high school, in nursing school right now, um, studying for the NCLEX. Let me know if I can help you out with anything. And I hope y'all have a blessed week. And let me know if I can do anything. Bye.